Sports Show. Well, it is the SNFL Grand Final this weekend. Two standing, Glenelg and Sturt. I think the SNFL will be pretty happy about that. Yeah, uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, Sturt yeah. obviously held off the Crows, got through, gave yeah. a bit of a touch-up the first and second quarter, and that kind of yeah. decided that game. Game um, over. Game over. What, what's your thoughts, mate? So they, they've... Oh, they last met back in June. It was a Monday game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Long weekend game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Glenelg dominated that one. 23-12, 150 to Sturt, 6-9-45. The only other time they met was round one. Mm-hmm. And Sturt, 12-8, uh, 80, defeated Glenelg, 7-7-49. So they know they can beat them, even though it was a long time ago. And yeah. Glenelg were dominant last time they met. I'd have to go with Glenelg Me too. going in, mate. Although, I think, I Marty think Matt has done a ripping job. Was doing, extremely he's, good job. He's built yeah. them really well over three years. Of course, Darren yeah. Reaver in his first year with Glenelg has done a terrific job there. So. No, I think Glenelg, mate. I think Glenelg, uh, they've looked the better team to me in the last... It's throughout the final yep, series. They have looked They've just better looked team. stronger than the other sides that I've seen. So uh, I think they'll win on the weekend. But, hey, good on them. Sturt and Glenelg should get a good crowd. It's pretty close to 40,000. Yeah, well, they should get a good crowd. Be, you know, they're pretty close to, to selling it out, mate. The yep. ticket prices were interesting for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, pre prices, so if you, you get online and book, adults $32, concessions $24, under 18s for free. If you book at the gate, if you get your ticket at the gate, adults $38, concession $28, under 18s free. Is that a little bit rich? Maybe a bit high. What do you reckon it should have been? What would have 20 tempted? bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah I, I, you want to fill the place? Yeah. 20 bucks. That's more well, my thought. I, I, you know, yeah. I understand yeah, you know, yeah, all that, yeah. but I, I kind of went the same thing. I thought, mm. for 20 bucks, most people would go, I reckon. Yeah. And once yeah. you start getting to 30s, you start going, oh, oh, that's nearly 40, isn't it? At yeah. The day, you know? So you and you know, you take the wife and a couple of kids mm. that are over 18 and you go, yeah. 100 plus bucks gone. Well, 40 yeah. bucks, 40 bucks at the gate. Yep. 38, 40 bucks at the gate, go in, oh, I'm a bit hungry, have a uh, $15 pie. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be terrific. Oh, and I better wash that down with a $24 beer. Yeah, so I reckon all it's of good sudden, of it, yeah. All of a sudden, mate. It's yeah. great to see two of the clubs in. I, 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 think, I, I know, agree with that. Oh, yeah. I think it'll be, yeah. uh, most people would be happy with that. Yeah, and they're, particularly they're the two, the two good teams this year. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, like mate. I say, they're one and one, split through the round. So, yeah. Yeah. could go either way, but you and I are pretty confident that it's going to be Glenelg yeah. over Sturt. The Ange Postacoglu watch that Ange. we talked about. So, uh, he's done it again, mate. Done it again. A couple of minutes left in the game. They're down 1 0. Mate, a hundredth minute. 2-1. 2-1. They were 1-0 down after the 90 minutes. Yep. Gone. Yep. So they're history. They yep. can't win that. No, they can't. All of a sudden, whoop, hang on. At the 106th minute mark, they get a goal. Yep. Now, do you know why it went so long? This is what gets me. I love this. It went to 112 minutes or something yep. like that. Now, there was a lot of uh, extra time. And yep. the umpire, you could tell him, the ref, was warning Sheffield United, the goalkeeper, every time he got the ball... He'd fall over and he'd lay on the ground with the ball. And you could see the ref go, mate, I'm just going to add the time just on. You know, the time so, on. Yep. And they got him at the 100th minute or something like that, which was quite staggering, 2-1. But, you know, I've got to tell you this about Ange. Sorry, just for you, how yeah, was the crowd on. after the game when they've scored two? Mate. Normally you're cheering for your team, mate. <laughs> yeah, they're cheering yeah. for Ange. Yeah. There's a song, a Robbie Williams <laughs> song they sing now, yep. uh, which is just uh, unbelievable. It's yep. unbelievable, mate. Yep. So, but what he's done, he's brought his own... Thing to the game, to, to, to top them. And, yep. and, and look, it's got him success in Japan, Australia, uh, in Scotland and whatever. But he now tells the players uh, before every home game, don't come to the club. We don't want you the night before to come to the club, which the other managers do. They want you there. Yep. For the, it's a home game. You stay at the club on the night before. No, nah, you stay sleep home. Sleep at the club, stay at the club. So you yep. stay in your own bed. You go home yep. and you sleep in your own bed. Now, the players have just embraced that unbelievably. But the, the funny thing about it is, mate, that we're talking about blokes here who are on, say, 100 million, right? They get their own way to the ground. <laughs> They've got to drive their own car. <laughs> we'll see you at the ground. It must be hard to come in your Ferrari or your McLaren, <laughs> well, mate. You know, <laughs> your <yeah>. helicopter. <laughs> well, it's just quite, well, amazing, isn't it, really? Yeah. And all, but, He's in, they've embraced him unbelievably, and, and so are the supporters. There are yeah. people out there waiting for the bubble to burst, but, hey, they, they are playing some scintillating football. They are playing some unbelievable football. His theory is be aggressive when we've got the ball. This is, this is all he does. Yep. Be very aggressive when we've got the ball. So they just attack. Yep. But also be extremely aggressive when we haven't got it. Really aggressive when we haven't got it. That's his motto. That's the way they play. So, in other words, Phil, you're a very creative player. He's allowing you to go yeah. and do it. 
You Did go and do your job. Does it sound like a couple of AFL teams this year? Yeah, it does. Let's be aggressive when we've yes, got the does. ball. Yes, yeah, it does. Onslaught attack. Yeah. And they're still evolving into yeah. the way they defend. Yeah. But the, yeah. it's interesting, isn't it? Let's it's fantastic, mate. It's fantastic to see an Aussie coach in the English Premier League because well. it's the biggest league in the world. And oh, here right. he is, sitting now second at the top on the table. Very big game this weekend coming up. Yep. Uh, a local derby, a London derby. They play Arsenal. Now, if Ange beats Arsenal... He'll have a grandstand, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. If he loses, they'll say the oh, bubble's finally yeah, burst. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah. But, yeah. It's, it is an interesting one because, again, Brilliant. over time, mm. and you know, I've said to you about people that are negative, mm. when he was coaching the Australian team, mate, he could not have had more critics yeah, exactly. through that period. Exactly, and then yeah. suddenly he's built his brand and everyone's yeah, gone. Yeah. And it's his oh, brand. Maybe we got him a little bit early. And it's maybe. his brand, mate. And Ken Hinckley's on that. Yeah. He's on the... Ange Postacoglu side of yeah. coaching the Australian team to mm. where he is now. That's how yeah. quick it can quickly Turn. spin up. Yeah. The Sixers are struggling a little bit, mate. They're yeah, falling, they are. Uh, yeah, Brisbane Bullets at home wasn't good, and they're not well, going they're all that well. Yeah. And the Brits, yeah. Blitz lost to New Zealand, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what, what, what do you make of that, mate? Oh, I haven't seen enough. I thought they'd recruited it. pretty well. Well, maybe they've recruited a lot of new players, so it may yeah. just be taking time for them to get an understanding. Yeah, sure. And uh, again, I think you run out of time. You know, they're coming off the back of last year where the owner probably was in the top one or two highest paid teams as far as recruiting went. Okay, yeah. So his expectation will be, I put a lot of money in here. Yeah. And didn't work last year, so okay. better work this year. So I reckon there's a bit of pressure coming yeah, early. Yeah. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. And I think we, you've got to give them a bit of time we to need see those to be players playing well. Absolutely. Yeah, Basketball's on a really good rise, yeah, so it's a good time to be, be well. winning and then the yeah, city gets do. behind it. So I hope yeah. you've enjoyed the show, everybody. Time for us to go. Barry Curtin says it's going to be Brisbane and... GWS. Oh, Brisbane GWS. Okay. <laughs> and Glenelg in Get the SNFL. Based on your week, mate, that's not a good omen for those two teams. So <laughs> hope point. you've enjoyed the show, everybody. Look forward to your company next week. Bye for now. <laughs>